All right. Well, uh, first off, my name is Joshua Glover. I'm from Norwich, Connecticut. Um, as far as experiences go, you know, as a father, you know, um, I'm one that, um, unfortunately, you know, I didn't get a chance to, to, to grow up with my father. He wasn't in my life, you know, at an early age. Um, you know, I'd see him from time to time, but, you know, when I did see him, it was the greatest feeling in the world. You know what I mean? I always thought he was like Superman, you know what I mean? He's, you know, one of the cool dads, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the cool dads. You know, he just had a swagger to him, man. It, it was just great, you know what I mean? In front of my friends, and, you know, he was just always the cool dad, man, you know. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, he passed on, you know, when I, when I was 28 years old. And, um, but, you know, I feel like I kind of take his coolness, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but, you know, from 42 years old, you know, my son is 21, my daughter's 19, and, um, I think I'm a cool dad. I think they think that I'm a cool dad. You know what I mean? So we can put it like that. But um, but yeah, man. You know, I just um, I strive to just try to stay in a space that they're comfortable in. You know what I mean? Them being young or you know young adults. You know what I'm saying? My daughter, uh, you know, a teenager still, but on her older, you know, 19. You know, it, it just. I feel like I'm, I'm able to, you know, just stay in, stay in their space, you know what I mean, with their peers and, and I, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, as they say, you know what I mean? So, hey, I, I try and I think I do pretty good at it, you know? We've had some great times. My son's into music, which I was heavy into the music, and it's almost like he took, you know, he took off where I left off, or he, he took up where I left off, you know what I mean, as a young man. I started my family early, so the music, it just became a hobby, you know, something I just love to do but never pursued it. And here my son is doing a very great job with pursuing, you know, and, and wanting to be successful and on his way to success, believe me, in the, in the music, you know what I mean, in the music industry. Um, so that, that's just great, man, and I, I love to see that because I see a little me, you know, coming up, but ten times greater and, and, and you know what I mean but we just got to break the cycle and the chains of you know as fathers not being present and in, in, you know in our children's lives man because it does make a, a difference you know what I'm saying and it, it plays a major role man in that child's life and um, you know I just want to express that you know even if it's just a pick up every one you know once a week a son just to, you know what I'm saying go out there and just cast out you know I mean Catch a fish, bring them, I mean, walk through the park, anything just to show them that, you know, you do have this male father father figure in your life, you know what I'm saying? Because it does mean something to a child, and I can attest for that, you know what I'm saying? Personally, I know what it felt like and what it feels like, you know what I'm saying? To not have your father present, you know what I mean? So, I'm just so fortunate, you know what I mean? And, and, and I broke, that I broke those chains and those barriers, and it was... I'm in my children's lives since the day they was born. I've been there, they, I've been nothing but what they see when they wake up in the morning. And it feels so great, man. I just wanna, I wanna tip my hats to the dads, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that the fathers that are there, you know what I'm saying? In their children's lives. And that's showing support and, and, and being there, you know what I mean? Having that unity or that connection, man, with their children, man, because it means something. So, I wanna tip my hats to them, man. Blessings and love.